Four massive 500-gallon water storage tanks will soon be installed at strategic locations across the island as NAWASA prepares to roll out the second phase of the G-Cruise project, Group 1. Network expansion and increased water storage capacity will be the major outputs, representing a crucial step towards enhancing the resilience of Grenada's water infrastructure, particularly in combating challenges posed by the water shortages during dry season intensities. Assistant Manager of NOASA's Planning and Development Department, Lyndon Bullen, explains that this tangible progress follows a meticulous planning and procurement process. And we are at a stage where procurement process is more or less completed, materials are on site, um, and works are actually getting implemented at this moment. The tank base is already been prepared, so that means extensive excavations were already completed, and now with these materials arriving to site for the tank construction, we can finally see some tank construction being taken place in the next few weeks. The arrival of the tanks is crucial for the success of the project, and head of GIZ Marion Guys is excited about this new development. This is really a great day. We're finally having the first tanks on the island. So these are hurricane-proof water tanks that can hold for several days water, and they're financed by the Green Climate Fund as part of the Climate Resilient Water Sector in Grenada project, which is a joint finance project by the GCF, the Green Climate Fund, the German Environmental Ministry and the Government of Grenada. And together with NAWASA, we as GIZ uh, are, are very excited to see that this is just a first fraction of what the component three of the water infrastructure that we're putting up on the island. Tank construction will be undertaken by the Florida Aqua Store. Representative Wayne Sinanon provides insight into the construction process, highlighting the meticulous attention to detail and safety measures employed to ensure the durability of the tanks. After the foundation is done, the tank is built from the top down. This is, this is possible with our specialized jacking equipment. Um, this way, we build the first ring, we build the dome, then we jack up the tank, and we put in the, the, the other rings. After each ring, we jack it up and we put on the next ring. All our work is for, at ground level at that point in time. This is a, a very safe construction method, eliminating the need of having guys to work on heights, on scaffoldings and all that. Meanwhile, pipeline installation progresses simultaneously at both Mirabeau and Tufton Hall. Bullin notes that this project is advancing smoothly. In terms of the pipeline aspect of it, these are already ongoing from late last year. We have Kenny Struckin being awarded contract in 6.5 million EC dollars. And those are for three sites associated with these tanks, um, Mirabeau, Tufton Hall, and Mont Rouge. Right? So these are ongoing. Um, we are currently seeing between 30 to 40% of pipeline installation already at, between the Mirabeau and the Tufton Hall sites. And of course, there are some challenges as well that we face along the way, but generally we are trying to keep on top of it, things and making sure that things progress smoothly. The installation of the first batch of tanks financed by the Green Climate Fund as part of the Climate Resilient Water Sector in Grenada, g Cruise project, is a testament to the collaborative efforts of all stakeholders involved. The tanks, designed to withstand hurricane force winds, are capable of storing water for several days, providing a vital lifeline during times of water scarcity. With the construction on the way and the promise of enhanced water infrastructure on the horizon, the G Cruise project is poised to make a significant impact on Grenada's water resilience.